Hiccups. You're sitting in a meeting, everything's quiet, and suddenly... <laughs> that weird little jolt is your diaphragm going rogue. A hiccup is actually a spasm of the diaphragm, the muscle just below your lungs, followed by a sudden closure of your vocal cords, which causes the hic sound. It can be triggered by things like eating too fast, drinking carbonated beverages, or even a sudden change in temperature. But sometimes, there's no clear cause at all. It's like a nervous system hiccup, literally. Your brainstem misfires and your diaphragm reacts, making it one of the most classic body glitches out there. Brain freeze. It's a hot day. You take a big bite of ice cream and bam, it feels like your brain just hit a wall of ice. Brain freeze or sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia, if you're feeling fancy, happens when something cold touches the roof of your mouth. It chills the blood vessels, which then rapidly constrict and dilate. That sudden change tricks your brain into thinking the pain is coming from your forehead, not your mouth. It's a mix-up in signal processing, your body confusing mouth pain for head pain, making this a neat little sensory glitch. Shivering. Cold outside, your body reacts by shivering. Rapid, tiny muscle movements designed to generate heat. But here's the glitchy part. Shivering can also happen when you're scared, anxious, or even overwhelmed. That's because it's not just about temperature. It's about your nervous system going into overdrive. Your body thinks something is wrong and starts triggering defense mechanisms, even if you're not physically cold. It's like your body hitting the fight or freeze button without fully knowing why. Sneezing fits with no allergen. Ever had a sneezing attack where there's no dust, pollen, or pepper in sight? This might be your trigeminal nerve acting up. This nerve controls sensation in your face and can be triggered by sudden changes like cold air, bright light, or even emotional stress. Basically, your sneeze reflex is going off for no real reason. It's a miscommunication between sensory input and motor output. A sneeze without a cause, and one of the clearest examples of a reflex firing off like a broken circuit. Numbness, or pins and needles, paresthesia. You sit on your leg too long, then it wakes up with a flurry of tingles. That's paresthesia. It happens when pressure cuts off blood flow or compresses a nerve, and the disrupted signals come rushing back all at once. It's not actual needles, it's misfiring nerve endings, sending scrambled messages to your brain. Your nervous system is essentially rebooting. This glitch usually passes quickly, but in the moment, it feels like your body forgot how to be a leg. Goosebumps. You hear a song that hits just right or suddenly step into a cold breeze, and your skin erupts in tiny bumps like it's reacting on its own. That's not imagination, it's your sympathetic nervous system kicking in. Goosebumps happen when small muscles at the base of your hair follicles, called erector pili, contract. This pulls the skin tight and makes the hair stand up. Why does it happen? It's a reflex triggered by either a drop in temperature or a spike in emotional intensity, fear, awe, excitement. Your brain sends an automatic signal through your nerves, and those tiny muscles respond instantly. It doesn't ask for permission, it just reacts. You're not in control, and that's what makes it a glitch. A reflex firing off in situations where it might not be strictly necessary, leaving your skin trying to say something your words can't. Motion sickness. You're on a bus, scrolling through your phone, and suddenly, ugh, your stomach flips, your head spins, and everything feels just off. That's motion sickness in action. It kicks in when your senses stop agreeing on what's real. Your inner ear is picking up motion, turns, bumps, acceleration, while your eyes, locked on your screen, are saying, nope, we're perfectly still. Your brain tries to reconcile the contradiction and fails. In a panic, it assumes you might be hallucinating, or worse, poisoned. So it flips the nausea switch, dizziness, cold sweats, even vomiting, all defense mechanisms against a threat that doesn't actually exist. It's not a malfunction in any one part, it's a team failure, a sensory system disagreement that ends with your body hitting the emergency button, all because your eyes and ears couldn't agree on what was going on. Teeth chattering. You're cold, and your teeth start shaking like you're freezing in a cartoon. Chattering is a rhythmic contraction of jaw muscles, a way to create heat just like shivering. But it's not only caused by cold. Strong emotions, fear, anxiety can also trigger it. That's your sympathetic nervous system treating psychological stress as a physical threat. It doesn't always know the difference between freezing temperatures and stage fright, so it sends the same shaky command either way. Ear popping. Going up in an airplane, your ears pop. 
That's your eustachian tubes opening to equalize the pressure between your middle ear and the environment. When the pressure's off, your ears can feel plugged or muffled. Sometimes the tubes don't adjust fast enough or overcorrect, leading to random or stubborn pops. It's a pressure regulation glitch, your body trying to sink but missing the mark. Jaw popping or clicking. You open wide and click. Your jaw snaps like a loose hinge. This is often a quirk of the temporomandibular joint, TMJ, which connects your jaw to your skull. If the disc inside shifts or the joint gets inflamed, you get that familiar popping sound. For some, it's harmless. For others, it causes pain. Either way, it's a mechanical issue, like your body's hardware slipping a gear. Stomach drop, elevator sensation. That weird flutter when a roller coaster drops or an elevator moves fast? That's your organs reacting to sudden motion. Your body moves quickly, but your internal organs take a split second to catch up. Your brain senses the motion mismatch and fires off a gut-level reaction. No danger, just an internal lag that tricks your brain into thinking something's off. It's like motion buffering. Tinnitus, ear ringing. Ever hear a high-pitched tone in complete silence? That's tinnitus. Often caused by exposure to loud noise, aging, or even stress. It's not sound from the environment. It's generated inside your brain. The auditory system fills in the blanks when it doesn't get normal input, kind of like your brain refusing silence and playing its own track. It's one of the most frustrating glitches because it's hard to ignore, even though there's nothing actually there. Skin crawling sensation, formication. Feel like bugs are crawling on your skin, but there's nothing there? That's called formication. It's a nerve signal misfire, often caused by anxiety, fatigue, or neurological changes. Your brain receives a signal from the skin that doesn't make sense and interprets it as crawling or tingling. It's creepy, harmless, and feels like your sensory system is just making stuff up. Snatiation reflex, sneezing when full. You finish a big meal, lean back, and a chew. That's snatiation, the weird sneeze reflex triggered by a full stomach. It may be tied to the vagus nerve, which connects your brain to your gut. A stretched stomach might accidentally activate the sneeze center. It's rare, mostly harmless, and the perfect example of how tightly and weirdly interconnected your body's systems are. Eye floaters. Ever spot little squiggles drifting across your vision, especially when looking at a bright sky? Those are eye floaters, tiny bits of collagen or debris floating in the vitreous humor of your eye. As light passes through, these cast shadows on your retina. They're harmless, but because they move with your eyes and never sit still, they feel like glitches in your field of vision. Your eye isn't broken, just a little dusty on the inside. Eye twitching, myokymia. You're talking to someone and suddenly your eyelid starts fluttering on its own, super annoying and hard to ignore. That's myokymia, tiny involuntary contractions of the eyelid muscles, often triggered by fatigue, stress, or caffeine overload. It's like your facial nerves are short-circuiting from burnout. The muscle isn't in pain, but your body is basically glitching out, in protest to being overworked. It usually goes away on its own, but it's a real-life example of how stress can literally show on your face. Charlie Horse, Leg Cramps Middle of the night, you stretch, and suddenly your calf feels like it's being twisted by an invisible wrench. That's a Charlie Horse. It's a sudden, involuntary muscle cramp, often in the legs, and it can be caused by dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, or overuse. But sometimes it just happens. Your muscle fires and refuses to relax. It's like your body's communication system glitched and locked a command in place. All you can do is wait it out, stretch it, and maybe curse a little. Muscle twitches, fasciculations. Ever had a random twitch in your arm or leg that just wouldn't stop? That's a fasciculation. Tiny muscle fibers are contracting without your permission, often from fatigue, dehydration, or stress. It feels like your muscles are tapping out SOS signals, but there's no real emergency. These twitches are usually harmless, but they're a classic sign of your nervous system firing off signals at random, like your body sending out texts with no autocorrect. Photic sneeze reflex, sunlight sneezing. You walk into the sunlight and suddenly sneeze? You might have the photic sneeze reflex, something about 20 to 30% of people experience. It happens because the optic nerve and trigeminal nerve are close neighbors. When bright light stimulates your eyes, the sneeze command accidentally gets triggered. It's a neural crossover, one signal piggybacking on another and confusing your brain in the process. 
So, how many of these glitches have you experienced? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably love my other one about brain glitches. Go check it out. Thanks for watching.